Hello there. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to draw a cause and effect diagram, also known as a fishbone chart or Ishikawa diagram. This question corresponds to problem 6.9 in your text. Here, we're going to consider the everyday task of getting to work on time or arriving at your first class in the morning. And what we're going to do is draw a fishbone diagram showing reasons why we might arrive late in the morning. A fishbone diagram starts at the tip or the head of the fish with identifying what the nature of the quality problem is. For our problem here, the quality issue is getting to work or school late. Now that getting to work late is the effect. But what we want to do is to determine what might actually cause or lead to the quality problem of getting to work late. What we do with cause and effect diagrams is identify four major categories of reasons why we might get to work late. Those four categories can also be known as the four M's and they include materials, methods, machinery, and manpower. We'll start with materials. In this case, we could say that the material might be the road. So some things that may affect our ability to get to work related to the road could be red light malfunctions, traffic jams, or a train at a railroad crossing. Next, we'll look at the method or driving. Perhaps we took a long route instead of a short one, or we got caught for speeding, or we just weren't paying attention and took a wrong turn somewhere. The next category would be machinery, in this case, the car itself. Perhaps there was a flat tire, or if it's wintertime, the car takes a long time to warm up, or on a very cold day, the battery doesn't turn the engine over. And then finally, we'll look at manpower, and that would be me or my family. So perhaps I couldn't find my keys, my kids didn't get up, or I didn't set an alarm. Those are just some very basic examples of the reasons why or causes that might lead to us arriving to work or school late. And so that's how you do a cause and effect diagram.